What is up my bases, this is SB6 Gaming here and this is your host Josh and now today we're going to be looking at a new Fortnite video on Battle Royale and we're going to be looking at the top 10 tips on how to begin in Fortnite. Now this is mainly for beginners, if you're intermediate or you're really really good at the game then um, I'm pretty sure you know this, uh, uh, know these um, you know already so we go ahead let's get the video if you want, but you know if you just want some laughter then stay um of course um this is one of the greatest free games at the moment on ps4 and xbox and pc i'm not sure about pc there might be you know better ones other than that um but um of course uh, there's a lot of you know um there's a lot of news um, saying PUBG and the Fortnite are, you know, against each other. And they're not really against each other, you know, they're like, you know, they're competitive. So, you know, um, so today we're going to be looking at uh, the top 10 tips. So, obviously, um, as we start, we are in this place uh, where you just, you know, you're with the players and you just, you know, go around finding guns and shooting people in the heads and acting like stupid idiots really because you can't you know you can't do anything um, and you just go around people shooting at each other uh, for no flipping reason and you know once after that um, you find yourself in the bus now this is where you get to choose where you land uh, if you're in um, a team then you know you have to decide between the team and uh, whoever wins then you know you get to go there or if you're on solos you get to choose totally by yourself um, now in this occasion as you can see people are going to tilted towers now um, I would say that would be my number one um, not to do thing in, um, uh, in Fortnite but you know uh, there have been several occasions where I've been stupid and as you can see these are one of the moments uh, where I have actually landed in tilted and got killed in the process um, that would probably be my number one um, in the top list. Um, don't ever land in Tilted unless you're really, really good at not dying. Um, and my second one would probably um, be not to land, like if anywhere, if you're landing anywhere, and absolutely anywhere, do not land any close. Uh, to any players because if they get a gun with that uh, you know just before you then you're doomed because you have no gun um, but if you're very very lucky and while they are digging and opening the chest you grab their gun and you can directly hit them in the head or kill them um, and that's very very lucky if you did that um, I, was, I, I, I probably did that a few times and I was very lucky to have it um, but yeah, um, the second one was not to land where um, other people are. Now for our number three spot, I would recommend, um, you know, talking about weapons here. Because weapons are one of the most important aspects of the game. Now, the weapons, um, it's very, very important which ones you have in your stack. Because you only have five slots. Now. Just to let you know, um, on top of that, you need to have health potions or, you know, things like bushes or something else, uh, not just weapons and health. Um, so you do need to have a very, very good understanding of uh, organisation in this game. So, um, of course, with the, with the, with the weapons, is very very important which ones to choose uh, throughout the game. Now I can I can tell you that uh, you never know which ones you're getting. It's it's just the amount of luck you get um, in the game. So if you ever <coughs> if you come across a silencer, you're very good at um, shooting 
without other people noticing. AI is one of the best actually. Um, you've got scoped and semi-autos, uh, which are very, very good if you don't have a sniper. Um, also, the Hulk uh, action is they probably, well, they have been, you know, people saying it's one of the worst guns, but I, I have actually had quite a few and a lot of kills with that um, type of gun. But the Taxi, a tactical gun, which is also a shotgun, uh, which is also a very, very good one, uh, but if you do find a tact, uh, tactical one instead of a Pumbi, I would recommend you taking that tact. Um, also, um, also go for the uh, the coloured ones instead of the grey ones uh, because uh, of course you got the grey and then you got the uh, green and the blue and then the purple and then you got the yellow which are in the order of none uh, to rare uh, to I think the blue is um, the one above that and then you got epic and then you got legendary um, but, you know, as you go up in the colours, um, to be honest, it's sometimes you're very, very lucky you find your legendaries. Um, there have been certain modes, modes where you find legendaries, um, for example, the old gold, um, but that was a mode uh, and that didn't stay for long. Uh, but you're very, very lucky if you find a legendary at the beginning. Now, this is probably coming in our number four spot, uh, which is going into weapons again. Now, this is basically focusing on um, a few of the guns, um, not the shotgun. Now, this is mainly focusing on um, your organization and which guns you should prioritize in your organization, in your stats. Now, um, I've been having rumors um, and most people saying that and I do totally agree because with these guns you are going to you are going to be wanting to actually do it. Um, so you know um, so let's get into it. So basically the first gun you should be having is um, mostly the AR because AR it does help you uh, with long range. Um, also looking at other ones um, is the sniper rifle, right? well, no, not the sniper right? no, well, well, the sniper itself. Um, the sniper, um, is, well, to be honest, having the AR and the sniper together is a very, very good combination because uh, throughout the game you're going to be looking at the horizons, um, you know, hoping to get a kill once in a while, and, you know, the shotgun's not going to come in use for, for that. But the tac tactical gun uh, and the pumpy whichever you land with and get um, it's very very good once you know you get a very close range with the player um, but um, the sniper rifle the, sorry not the sniper rifle the sniper rifle is good it's not as good as the sniper though because it doesn't do as da you know good as damage but you do have rapid fire so that, that's really kind of good uh, instead of the sniper because you have to reload and then by the time you're in, you're in. Um, but there are various various uh, techniques you can do like uh, you can um, you can do the sniper and then while that's reloading you can use the AR to shoot the guy down um, if you've got a tactical or a pumpy you can take him down too once he gets close range but you know that's um, that's pretty much the good combination so which is the AR and the sniper I think this is a number five but yeah coming in on our number five spot now this one is basically um, very based on um, burst uh, burst weapons so this is like the AR um, or I don't know um, it's mainly based on the AR because um, the actual AR is, um, you know, it can go out of control sometimes, including the minigun, including the minigun, yeah. You know, the minigun, well, you can, um, throughout the, throughout the time you're actually, sh you know, shooting, it can go out of control, and after pressing on the trigger and holding uh, for one or more seconds, it can actually practically become useless, because it can go all over the place the actual ammos like that they can go anywhere 
the bullets. Uh, so I do recommend uh, for our top five tip that you use small bursts. So you, 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 you tap and then you tap and then you tap. Don't like hold and then uh, let it go wild because it, it, it just after one or two seconds, it's just gonna go everywhere. Now coming in our number six spot. Now this is very, very important because um, what I am doing at the moment, if you can see, I'm not very, very, well, I've just noticed um, that I'm not very, very close to the circle. That That's why I am going away from the other people that are in retail and I'm heading towards the circle because this is our number six and it's the most important, well, it's not the most, but it's one of the uh, important things about uh, this game is well this will probably if you're a PUBG fan and you're going into Fortnite um, and you already have played PUBG for a very long time you'll probably stick to this uh, strategy for a very very long uh, time which is stay in the circle make sure you have an eye close to the circle and you know where you are on the map now because this if you know one time I, I had my eye off it and it just went all baloney and it's just it's a really bad thing to do because you, you, you can have you know loads of wins and loads of loot and then suddenly you, you, you get killed from the actual storm which is very very cool not um, and it's very embarrassing to watch after um, so guys I do rec you know I do recommend for you to keep an eye on the circle. Now, adding on to our number six tip, um, this is actually adding on to our number six, um, which is very, very similar to the circle situation. Now, um, there are many strategies you can use with the circle, which is um, when you're very, very close to the circle and it's very, very small, sometimes people go into buildings. Um, so. Uh, you should be very very aware of the buildings around you as the circle gets smaller because um, Sometimes people hide in buildings um, and wait for people um, To get into the buildings uh, So they can kill them because they know when the circle gets closer and smaller that they will go into the building So it is a very very good tactic now coming in in our number seven This is probably the one of the most Actually, this is probably the most important aspect of the game. Now, do remember, you are not playing Call of Duty, you are not playing Destiny, and you are certainly not playing any other gun game. You are playing Fortnite, your, your number one priority is you should keep yourself alive. It does not matter how many kills you have, it just matters if you win. It just matters if you win, seriously. You could have 98 kills um, and you could get killed uh, by the last person of the game and still lose. You'll look like a total loser and it'll just be really, really bad for you. So what I should uh, tell you guys is focus on keeping alive more than killing people. Now coming in at uh, number 8 spot is probably, um, it's very, very based on um, when killing people and not trying to get killed yourself. Now this is when you kill someone and try to get their loot. Make sure you are looking around just before you try to loot the person because you never know when there's a person behind you or in front of you or even above or, um, or underneath you because you know when you're looting someone you, you probably don't care about your environment you just care about oh should i take the tacti or you sh or should i take the ar you know it, it's, it's, you should be caring about your surroundings more than the guns uh, there are some people out there that have just two brains and they're like you know they're they're working the magic um, and they're getting two things done it twice uh, at once so you know it, it, it's kind of cool uh, but just you know my message is uh, keep your eye out um, out there and make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Now coming in our ninth spot is basically, um, it's mainly based on building. Now when you build forts or you build walls, 
try to use existing buildings. Now, I just showed you an example just two seconds ago. I just used a tiny, tiny uh, building and I built walls about around it and I, I took the stuff and I went out. Try not to stay in buildings that much either. Now, the main point is try not to build forts and massive buildings right in the slap bang in the middle of the map because any player can go past and say, oh, there's a massive building, I'll just explode it or I'll go and see if there's anyone in there. Because the more, you know, if you build a building, you'll be more vulnerable, seriously. Um, I've, I've done it myself. Because, so, just to make that not happen, um, try to use existing buildings. That's the best way to go forward. And try not to stay slap bang in the middle of the fort and stop camping. Literally, never ever camp. Always move. That is another tip uh, for you uh, is for you should always jump and you should always move never stay slap bang in the middle unless you want to get snipered in the face because that's where you're going with. now coming in our number nine spot now this is mainly based on um well this is mainly uh, based on building again now this one is you're not building forts right we talked about you, know, you shouldn't buy, uh, build buildings and you shouldn't stay in buildings that much. Now the thing you should be building, that's, that's the thing we should be talking about, is what we should be building is ramps. Now as you can see I'm on a ramp right now and it's very very useful to build as defense. And it's very very, uh, like it's very very useful to get cover and it's also very very useful to get to un well places you can't go basically that is one of the big features you can't do in PUBG and that's very interesting but in Fortnite you can build ramps to get to unaccessible places to get loot chests and weapons now coming in our last spot which is our tenth now this one is probably the funniest thing and the most important thing about buildings now and buildings that are already being built into the map itself and also trees and also buildings basically everything that exists in this game except for mountains and that stuff remember that every single thing can be blown the f up seriously Anything can be blown their F up. Seriously, anything. So, try to not stay in buildings because if that happens and they shoot, anything can explode around you. And it's just very, very bad damage. Alright, guys, I know this is a top 10, but I feel like I do need to add this in. Because it is one of the most important aspects of the game. Now, when you're in the game, whenever you find a potion, drink it ASAP. Because it, because it is worth more than your actual health. Seriously. You need it more than anything. Make sure you have health. Make sure you mostly have shield at all times. Because it will give you extra uh, reliability and it will give you extra time to get shot at and it, it, there's a, a less chance that you will get killed Black boy, you don't really wanna feel them shots, boy. You a B boy, I'm a black boy, I'm a D boy, I'm a hot boy.